Welcome everybody, Johnny Jans here, standing just outside Universal Studios today. And I welcome you all to day number 74 of this thing that I'm doing. And today I'm gonna go inside Universal Studios. And because my quiet spot video at Islands of Adventure was so great, I wanna show you that there's also quiet spots that you may not know about inside Universal Studios Park. So let's head inside quietly and do some hand ring around. And here at Universal Studios, it is a busy day in the midst of spring break. So I think that deserves seeking out a nice quiet spot. It just off the main path across from Race Through New York with Jimmy Fallon is this small park which some would consider to be Central Park, especially since we're in the New York area. But there's another Central Park just across the way, more close to ET and stuff that we'll see later. But this is a quiet spot to hang out. Plenty of benches for sitting and maybe just relaxing and taking a time out from your day. Here's a chill area just located right off the streets of San Francisco and across from the exit to Fast and the Furious Supercharged is right here in front of Jaws. There's some fun tables under the shade where you can kind of camp out and just hang out for a bit. There are picnic tables, but they do get covered in sun. So unless there's no sun or it's getting dark, this would be a good place. Plus you could admire what once was Jaws and how we missed that attraction. Now right now it doesn't look like it because it's so sunny, but the benches right on the edge of the park in front of the London area of behind, in front of the Wizarding World is gonna be a section that's gonna be mostly quiet because it's kind of walk around the main path. So you see all the people over there where if you walk this way, you kind of walk around everybody. Now there are benches, but in the middle of the afternoon, you could see there's no shade, but as the sun changes and goes down, this might be a nice, quiet, relaxing spot. Here's a nice, quiet spot in front of an abandoned area. Located by the old Fear Factor Stadium, you could see almost like a Fear Factor Park over here with benches and you can relax, take your stroller, baby can take a nap, all those good things, or camp out right underneath those trees on the edge there and you got like a lot of shade provided if you don't mind sitting on the ground but here at fear factor park is a good quiet spot area to relax as people are doing here's kind of a nice quiet area just located off of springfield and the craziness that is that and right behind the statue of jebediah springfield you can walk down here Grab yourself a table and just enjoy the atmosphere. There are umbrellas so you can get some shade and kind of just overlook the seagulls. Why are there seagulls at this theme park? There are no seagulls at Disney, yet they come to Universal. Are they part of the theming because I'm looking at a harbor that once was Jaws? I don't know. But here's another quiet spot right off of Springfield for you. That quiet area too also has a wheelchair slash stroller accessible ramp to get down there just right behind Lard Lad here and his giant donut. Don't come to life. Ah, uh, look at this, Central Park, the real one. Not the tiny one that's over on New York Street, but the one that's across from San Francisco along the bay. That's the Central Park that I'm looking for and talk about a quiet spot. This is where I do a lot of my vlogging here. Intros, outros, great spot, not that loud. Lots of places to park a stroller, have the little ones take a nap, or just relax yourself. It's always nice to get away from the crowds and cut through Central Park. Never really crowded here, though it is windy today, but it's not crowded. Now, just a heads up, Central Park will be crowded on a night 
they do their show in the lagoon. They have a water special effects show, and this place will be absolutely crowded. But during the day, ain't no one's gonna be here, so you can totally relax. Well, there it is, folks. A look at some of the quietest places to just relax here at Universal Studios. There's not a lot to go to. You might want to cross over to Islands of Adventure. There definitely was a lot more there, but there are some good places here at Studio. That's gonna do it for me. Until next time, probably here at Universal. I'm Johnny Jans, and I'll catch you out there. Hand ring around. Staring at this DeLorean reminds me that we have just changed the clocks. We literally went back to the future because we're living in a new time right now. <laughs> I lost an hour of sleep.